Hey guys, first Avenger four five six here, and <clears throat> if uh, you don't know me, you might know me from some stop motion videos I have in a different channel. If not, then welcome, because this is gonna be the first video on this channel. So I'm just gonna be, you know, reviewing, you know, action figures, games, um, <clears throat> movies, and you know, tech things like that. So yeah, my first video is gonna be uh, this. Black Panther figure. Okay, that's my dog over there. Um, this figure uh, it's been released in, back in like with, when the movie came out. Uh, this year, it's actually really good. Um, <clears throat> I might do a review on that in the future, of, like of the of Captain America: Civil War, since I love Captain America. Um, so here's the Black Panther figure. It's one of the main figures in the wave. Here is the rest of the figures from the wave get cap iron man black panther being one of the uh <clears throat> one of the best of the wave i don't know um to be honest i'm not really interested in these other comic uh figures or even the giant man that I, I, I don't know that just looks kind of ridiculous but i really uh like the iron man 40 uh, mark 46 and black panther which i'm about to which i i do have both of those as for Captain America, I don't really feel like needing, you know, Captain America because I already have like a bunch of those. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get on with the review. Here we go. So here's the, uh, the front. That's so Captain America: Civil War, Marvel, Black Panther. It's made by Hasbro. As you can see there. Uh, these. This is the Marvel Legends series. Build a figure, Giant Man, and you got a shield logo on there. So we got. Black Panther, and on the back, we just showed that part down there, but here's the Marvel Legends series, and here's the description. Armed with razor-sharp claws and super speed, Black Panther pounces into the fight. Uh, yeah, I really liked him in the movie. A lot of people, you know, think he's one of the badasses. I, I, I'm happy to have this figure, though. I don't know what the figure's gonna be like, so, you know, I'm happy to have him, so. Uh, let's get into the close-up. Okay, so... This figure, I mean, it's okay. Okay, I'm not gonna say it's a bad figure because it's really not. In fact, the paint is on here makes up for it. It's really good. Um, you know, but as for the articulation, uh, it's um, mediocre. You know, it's like a mixed bag. Um, but I take you know articulation over you know paint job. So, well, let's look into the figure. Let's dive into it. So. They did a really good job with the silver paint here. This thing looks outstanding. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And I'm happy that, you know, I, I love how they're finally taking this Black Panther character, you know, off the comics. And they, they're implementing that into the MCU with this look. This is just so badass. I'm really happy with this figure. Um, see, So, now that I have him here, you know, the paint jobs, let's just get into that. You can see there's the head. It... it the silver on this, you know, looks absolutely amazing, you know, especially on the ears and the the nose. Such a silver. And on here, on the torso, or on the chest at least, this part, the spiky part, I don't know what that's called. That looks really good as well. I really like that too. So, um... I... So this honestly looks amazing, and... Though if I had a problem with the paint job, I'd say that, you know, it's not really a problem, it's more like a nitpick. Well, technically it's more like an articulation problem, it's this torso or, you know, ab crunch articulation, this, it's just like a click, you know, it just doesn't feel right. I've never seen this on a Marvel figure before, like, what is this? This is like a McDonald's gimmick here, this sounds like a freaking, you know, toy for like three-year-olds, this is not... It's, I don't know. I, I don't like it. It's just... Plus, it also affects the way he, you know, standing up. He could either, you know, be like all the way like this, or you can have him do this, like he's crunching down. But he's also, it looks like he's, like, about to take a crap, you know. It just... It doesn't look good, and and it ruins, um, you know, the posing aspect or element of this, you know, figure. Because this figure has some really cool and cool-looking, you know, paint jobs. Plus, there's this weird plastic part here that does not look right at all whenever I'm like having a bent over pause okay so 
now that we got the paint job, let's talk about the articulation. So we've already gone over this weird clicking problem. I don't like that at all. But the head, it it goes around, you know, 360 pretty good. It goes up a fair amount like that. That's okay. But it barely goes down. And by barely, I mean not, not at all. It just like, it, it wants to, but no. That's all we get. Just, no. Nah. Um, as for the arms, it goes out that much, but it feels like you're, you're about to break it every time you do. I don't know why, it just does. Um, here's the, you know, elbow articulation. Wait, crap, did I just broke it? Oh, no, I didn't. And the claws, the, oh my god, the, the claws look pretty good, actually. Um, they, they actually, they're actually kind of sharp, too. Not really sharp, but, like, you know, you can feel the, uh, you know, the sculpt. It, you know, it spins around goes up that much you know it's got pretty good articulation on the legs though oh well first there's also this you know torso joint it looks kind of weird when it's facing this side but it's made up for it because it's kind of skinny and it doesn't look that bad so that's good the legs though is where it kind of drops a little bit you know this this is the part where you know it doesn't it's not as good because the legs aren't, you know, the knees, like the thighs, they're not on ball joints. So they're like, you know, they just swivel like this. And it and it, it doesn't look good. Like if you're like having him do like one of those awesome kicks that he does in a movie, you're going to have him do like this weird pose. I don't know what. You know, I'm trying not to break this figure. I know a lot of collectors like to break their figures, but I don't. It just does this weird thing. I guess you can have him do like he's about to kick his shield while looking that way. And do one of those frames. I don't know. It just looks weird. I don't like this like articulation. It doesn't even go out that far either. Those are that far. And I've seen the way he kicks in the movie. This is a pretty big deal. Doesn't not really that big of a deal with other figures, but for Black Panther it does because he's like one of those kung fu masters. And this does not you know approve because he's done some pretty awesome you know kicks in the movies. I mean it goes up a good amount, but barely this way. So and it barely goes back either. Um, you know, it single jointed knees and it does have ankle pivot, but it but oh no, oh it does have toe articulation. Yeah, it does have toe or angle articulation and pivot, so that's good. I did not notice that. Wow, look at me. All right, so this figure, while I have another figure from the web, it's the Iron Man. I'm not gonna compare it now because I didn't. Um, well, I mean I did, but you know, I put it back in the box. So. This figure is good, okay? Um, it's really good. Oh, and I also um, forgot to show this. The uh, the T'Challa head sculpt. Um, this looks good. I mean, it's not bad. It just uh, it doesn't it doesn't look like the Chadwick Boseman of this uh, you know year this generation it looks looks kind of like him but older. And the hair is not that good either. I don't like the hair. The hair is like. And it doesn't look that good. It, it's too, you know, it's too thin. It's not, it's not as puppy, not like a freaking afro, but you know, you know what I mean. So overall, this figure is okay. You know, it's not amazing. It's not, you know, terrible. The paint job, oh crap, the paint, the paint job is, you know, really well done. And, you know, I, you know, I can't, you know, like just say this up bad. You just feel the articulation, even though the articulation could have been better. A lot better actually um the paint jobs do make up for it and i really uh i recommend it you know not highly but you know if if you see it i recommend you do go you should pick it up you know so um you uh so if i were to give this a rating i'm gonna be giving ratings out of like 10 you know so if i were to give this one a rating i'd give it a 7 or a 6.9 you know a 6 i'm gonna go with a 7 just to be nice so i'm just gonna give us a, a 7 and you know, hopefully, if you guys uh, do see it in the store, you should pick it up, you know. And if it's on eBay, I recommend you pick it up as well. You know, it's really, um, it's a really good figure. It's not amazing, though. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching, and uh, expect more reviews to come. I'm going to do the uh, Iron Man Mark 46 um, Marvel Legends figure next. So, uh, so if you want to watch that in the future, it'll be right there. Okay, so, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.